the true discount on a bill of rupees 540 is 90 rupees. What is the banker's discount? So the banker's discount is nothing but the simple interest on the amount, which is rupees 540, right? This is the amount. Okay, now we have been given that the true discount on a bill of 540 is 90 rupees. So the amount is given and the true discount of that amount is 90 degrees, right? But what is true discount? Well, true discount is actually the simple interest on the principal worth, right? On the present worth of the money and that's 90. Now, how do you calculate the present worth? Well, amount is actually, it is equals to the principal amount plus the true discount, right? True discount is basically the interest on the principal amount. So amount is 540 and we have P which is we want to calculate plus true discount is 90. So the present worth of the money is 540 minus 90 and that is 450, right? So principal is 450. Now we can write this as, you know, true discount is the simple interest on the present worth. And true discount is 90. So I can write 90 is equals to the simple interest on the present worth that is rupees 450. Right. So we have two proportions. We can cross multiply and equate. So we want to calculate the banker's discount. So I have the banker's discount is equals to 90 times 540 divided by 450. Right. So this is equal to when calculated, this gives you 108. So the banker's discount is 108 rupees. The present worth of a certain bill due some time hence is rupees 800 and the true discount is 36 rupees. What is the banker's discount? So we have been given the true discount that is 36. So true discount is basically equals to the simple interest on the principal worth that is the present worth and that is given to us as 800 so 36 is the simple interest on 800 rupees right I can write this now we have been asked what is the bankers discount so bankers discount is basically the simple interest on the amount but we don't have the amount right so how do we calculate amount now 36 is the simple interest on 800, right? So principal is equals to 800 and interest is basically 36, right? So we can calculate the amount. Amount is basically principal plus interest. So amount will be equals to 800 plus 36 and that's 836, isn't it? So I can write the banker's discount is equals to the simple interest on the amount that is 836. Right, so just cross multiply and equate and you can get the value of BD, that is the banker's discount. So the banker's discount is equals to 836 times 36 divided by 800, right, and that will give you 37.62. So our answer is option B, 37.62 rupees, which is the banker's discount. The banker's gain of a certain sum due two years hence at 10% per annum is 24 rupees. What is the present worth? Okay, so what is the formula for calculating the banker's gain? Well, banker's gain is equal to the banker's discount minus the true discount, right? This is a standard formula. We have been given the banker's gain and that is 24 rupees. So I can write 24 is equals to what is the formula for calculating the banker's discount? Well, banker's discount is calculated on the amount. It is basically the simple interest on the amount, right? So let the amount be A. So I can write A times N times R. N is 2. So this is 2 times rate of interest is 10. So 10 upon 100, right? P and R upon 100. So similar to that. Minus true discount is basically the interest calculated on the present worth. Right, so let the present worth be P. So this is equal to P times N R upon 100. N is 2 times R is 10 upon 100. Right, so this gets cancelled out. 2 times 5 is 10. Here also 2 times 5 is 10. This 0 already cancels out. So 24 is equals to I have A minus P divided by 5. Isn't it? 
So 24 times 5 is 120, which is equals to A minus P. Now what is A minus P? Amount minus the present worth or amount minus the principal. It is actually the interest. And this interest, which is calculated on the principal, is the true discount. So I can say true discount is equal to 120. Right. But what do we need? We need the present worth. So what is the formula for calculating the true discount? Well, true discount is equal to P N R upon 100. Is that correct? So true discount is 120. So I can write 120 is equal to P times 2 times 10 upon 100. And these zeros get cancelled out. 2 times 60 is 120. So I have the present worth as 60 times 10. That is 600 rupees. Right? So option C is the correct answer. The banker's discount on a bill due 4 months hence at 15% is 420 rupees. What is the true discount? So the banker's discount is actually the simple interest calculated on the amount for the unexpired time. So I can write it as A N R upon 100. Right? A times N. What is N? Well, N is 4 months. To write it in years, I need to write it as 4 by 12 years. Then times rate. Rate is 15% upon 100. Right? Now, 4 times 3 is 12. So I have 3 times 5 as 15. Right? Banker's discount is given to us as 420. This is equals to amount, which is A times 5 upon 100. Right? So 5 times 20 is 100, 420 times 20 is 8400, which is equals to the amount, right? Now you've got the amount, you can calculate the true discount. True discount is equals to, you know the formula, it is A times N times R upon, we have 100 plus N times R. This is the formula if you know the amount, right? So this can be written as 8400 times n times r. Well, this is 4 by 12 times 15. Let's cancel it here itself. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 5 is 15. Divided by I have 100 plus n times r is basically 5, right? This term. So 8400 times 5, that is 42,000 divided by 105. And that is equal to 400. Right, so true discount is 400 rupees. So option A is the correct answer.